Alright, so I was on here and I'm just looking at people's comments and shit. About the whole crap that's going on on here, you know? And, um, I'm probably gonna butcher your name because I can't read out loud that well, but, um, Visa Fa Visa Rafi or whatever your name is, um, you put a comment on Spike's video saying that also, and stating this. This is what I want to address in this video. Um, also, I just want to say, notice the juggles who got hurt over this. All peaceful people who are true to the message of being a juggler. And the ones who are making us feel like shit for caring are the ones who are constantly getting into fights with other juggalos over YouTube. And then he put Guido and Mackenhose. The ones who are, who were a part of this are the ones who enjoy the attention and YouTube views and will make sure they get it even at the expense of the fans. So you can pay the struggle at Maggie Josh, Irish, and Jerry's. You sir are completely wrong. It sounds like you're getting into this late. And you obviously don't know any of us if you're saying this. Alright. One, I only get into fights with juggalos who are speaking the wrong and preaching the wrong message about being a juggalo. Like saying that, oh, it's about all the shit you wear, or about how much merch you got, or how much knowledge of being a juggalo you are. You know, I think it's all about people who say that it's all about the music, like you have to memorize every single song, own every single album, that shit. That's not being a juggalo. I get into fights with people who say that shit, alright? And I call them out and I put them on blast. And I get into fights with people who are trolls. Just because I get a kick out of fighting with trolls. But that's just me. That's just me, alright? I just get a small little rise out of it, you know, like fucking strange mental, that motherfucker. He, he tries to come at me with all this bullshit stuff and He's just pulling shit out of his ass lately, trying to throw at me and just try to get a fight on me so I can mention him in his videos, but I barely do, and I barely ever will. But that's just an example, alright? And you're saying that um they're trying to get views and trying to crave attention or whatever by using the fan as expense. That's not entirely true, dude at all all right crazy he doesn't give a fuck about views you know and same thing with cpn he clearly says in his videos i don't give a fuck about views i don't give a fuck about subscribers you know and um like you you, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about it seems like you know Everybody that you mentioned who were part of this whole entire thing, they barely they barely give a fuck about views. YouTube is entertainment. I come down here to be entertained, alright? To get away or to escape the actual real world. Alright? Like, what am I wearing? What shirt am I wearing? I'm wearing a Kmart employee shirt, alright? I just got home from work for like, I got off work at 10.30 and it's 2.15 right now. I come on here for a couple of hours, check out what everybody's doing, check out how everyone's doing, go on Facebook, see how everybody's doing, you know, and all that happy shit, you know, just to escape what I did today, you know, because like I don't do a shitload of drugs, because you see like people in the real world escape by coming home and drinking. A shitload just to escape reality, or coming home and some people smoke weed or whatever. Like me, I don't do that shit. And if I do, it's usually whenever I end up really fucking pissed off day and I don't want to fucking talk to anyone. And I just go up in my room, listen to music, have a drink, and think about shit. You know, if not sleep. But you're completely wrong. Um, with that statement. And I want, in, I want to defend 
a little bit, defend Nick, aka Mackenhoes. Um, Mr. Mackenhoes the Great. He said that, um, he gets into fights with other YouTubers. He, he doesn't get into fights. He just thinks that it's stupid that people get butt hurt so easily. Just people in general who are juggalos get butt hurt so easily. And they get butt hurt easily because they don't expect hate. If you're a fan of the most hated band in the world, alright, and you expect not to get all hate, you're a fucking retard. I'm sorry, I'll just say, I'll say the R word, um, Beastmaster, I know you don't like saying that or whatever, but you're just a retard if you don't, can't stand a little bit of hate. And nowadays what Juggalos don't understand is that, Back in the day, you didn't really need to have that tough skin or or that thick skin whenever it comes to hate or whatever. You know, you could be a juggler and people will be like, "What the hell is that?" Okay, all right, that's kind of weird. All right, back in the '90s, that's what they were like. Like, juggler, what is that? I don't understand. Oh, they're fans. They're just really weird fans. All right, whatever. The 2000s juggalos. Oh yeah, they do drugs. Fuck that. You know. Nowadays. Homo clown, durka durka durka, you know. And all that shit. You know, and, and nowadays people get butt hurt so easily. And people don't have thick skin. And I'll quote Rayman in a video that he said, I can't remember which video he said it, but nowadays, if you're a juggalo, you have to live up to the repercussions of being one, you know. People are going to hate you no matter what. And people are, you're going to have to have tough skin because with that, with repping Juggalo, you're repping, it's like a target for hate, pretty much, in a way. Like, me and my best, whenever I hang out with my best friend Caitlin, she has a lot of punk friends or whatever. And I rep a Juggalo shirt every now and then or whatever, a Psy shirt or whatever. And I get hated from her friends that I, some friends of hers I don't even know. And I get hated for it. I'm like, I don't care, man. I like the music. So I buy their merch. Whatever. You like, say, exploited or fucking leftover cracker or whatever. And you wear their shit. So same difference, you know. It may not be your cup of tea, but that's alright. You know, I don't care if you don't like them. I just brush off my shoulder and that's why a lot of people are having trouble nowadays. That's why Mac and Hose and I don't get butt hurt so easily. We don't we're not quick to jump the gun. And because Mac and Hose, I see him as the your two thousand breed type juggalo because that's right around the time whenever I started listening to the music. Right around whenever I started exploring the juggalo scene. Was in the year 2000. You know. And every juggle still had a rough and thick skin, you know. Where, like, someone calls you a homo clown, whatever. Brush off your shoulder. Who gives a, who gives a fuck? What they say. And that's what today's and no nowadays people you know, don't understand yet. Is that who gives a fuck what people say? I mean, all they should care about is the people that you hang out with or talk to frequently. And those people are your family, in my views. Like, if you don't, if someone's a juggalo, and you don't know them, and you don't talk to them at all, and you first talk to them, you call them fam. Like, I'll quote, um, Mac and Hose in his last video. He said that you went to, um, went to, like, some fast food restaurant or whatever. He was wearing a shirt, and then some dude came up to him and said, Oh, what's up? Oh, you live there? Uh, cool, cool. And then all of a sudden, Yo, can you give me a dollar so I can get enough for my burger? He's like, No, man, I'm not going to get you that. I just met you. That's how we see it. That's how we see about being a juggler. Not every juggler is your fan. Alright? They're only your fan if you hang out with them or you... You truly get to know them. Like me and me and Rayman. I consider him my my long lost Mexican brother, you know? 
brother. But like, I never knew him. Him. I liked some of his videos. I did a couple video responses to him, and I'm like, yo, if you're free sometime, hit me up. I gave him. I sent. I shoot him the number. Called me. We kicked it on the phone, you know. And then we talked on like I think it was on Tiny Chat a bunch of times. And that's how he became my family, you know. But like people don't understand that not everybody's a fan. You know. Not everybody's a homie. Like if you're getting beat and you're not wearing a jungle shirt and somebody else that's walking down the street has a jungle shirt, if they don't know you, they're not gonna be part of that, even if they see the juggle thing. But I'm kinda of getting off subject here, I know. I'm tired. I'm not I don't have any notes. I didn't write anything down, so that's kind of why I'm getting off topic. I'm just going to end it because I'm tired as hell, as you can see. I got like little circles starting to form underneath my eyes from lack of sleep. But, yeah. <sighs> ah! With this uh, ungly arm out, I'm going to finish eating some food here and making food. Change out my work clothes and bed. Just look at look at my dog. The dog over there, he has a right idea. He's gonna the blanket. Excuse me. Yeah, so I'm out. Peace.